Gerardo Ortiz is lucky to be alive. He was sitting on his couch with this gigantic tree crashed through the middle of his trailer. He says, suddenly I heard a noise in the air and the tree fell. He spoke to our sister station at Telemundo. Somehow, Gerardo came out of all this with just a scrape on his hand. But his daughter-in-law is still in the hospital. The winds from Saturday's storm were enough to completely uproot this tree. Check out how the base alone of the tree is taller than the trailer itself. The force knocked it from its foundation as it smashed through the rafters and insulation, leaving behind a trail of fiberglass and the sad eyes of Gerardo and his 13-year-old grandson. He tells us it's difficult because we can't find a place where to live. Gerardo is never going to be able to come back here. For right now, he's going to stay with his son, but other folks aren't as fortunate. Why don't you walk with me over here? That same tree did the same thing to this house over here, and these folks are being taken care of by the Red Cross for now, but that's temporary. Neighbors are doing what they can to help. Covers, clothes, shoes. Down the road, neighbor Ashley Pitts just got back from the store with a trunk full of clothes, snacks, and even school supplies. Last night, I talked to one family. The girl was crying. I'm starting back to school. I have no clothes to wear. I have no backpack. I promised to get it, and I got it. It's hard to make out much of anything left in this neighborhood, except it's hard. In North Charlotte, meteorologist John Aarons, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.